and they really want to flower. They're still pushing. Osceola, oh, everybody. Out here, hoping we'll get some rain from some of these clouds. Is out here walking the gardens and stuff while the animals are getting watered. Just wanted to see how everything was growing. I like to walk the gardens multiple times just to make sure everything's good. We got our uh, dwarf cabin is just shooting out some pups there. We'll get this banana circle really taken off. <laughs> I just wanted to show off this little uh, squash plant. Elliot, my grandson, actually planted it last year over there and it took a year to sprout. But I transplanted it over here because the baby pigs were born in that pen. And so we didn't have room for it. But I just wanted everybody to see. Elliot's little squash is doing great. We will be picking off of this soon. It's looking excellent. I'm just super, super pleased with it. Just very happy. I just saw a cabbage moth. Go away, cabbage moth. But I planted it some friends, so we've got other squash seeds just popping up over here. So there'll be more corn I got in the uh, banana circle and the corn out here in the little patch are doing excellent. Not all the sugar cane come up, but we do have a decent little bit of cane sprouting. Not as much as I was expecting, but we'll take it. We can propagate from this, make more. Just curious, I've never really grown it before. Looks like these bananas are just doing excellent. Really taking off, so this banana circle is going to be jamming. Sweet potatoes. These are just our regular old orange sweet potatoes. They're finally vining out. I'm going to get them to take over this whole little bed right here. We're going to have plenty of sweet potatoes. The small ornamental sunflowers, they're already starting to put on their blossoms. Come down here and check on these others. She can't really see, but this is waist high on me. So these are actually looking really good. Now these were some kind of American giants. I find it odd that they're only like four foot tall when they first start blooming, but we'll see. I don't know nothing about sunflowers. These are some more of the ornamentals, just different variable colors. These are supposed to be mammoths back here. Well, that's interesting. Never really grown a bunch of sunflowers before. This one's actually grown multiple blooms. I'm excited, curious to see them open up. My Tithonia diverse floor, my Mexican tree sunflower over here, it's doing great. I need to take and see if I can get it to give me some uh, stems so I can propagate for cuttings. Looks like I finally have some over here. Yep, looking good. Not blooming yet, but she is growing great. I do think I'm going to take some cuttings off of her. See what I can do. Comfrey surviving over there. It's not thriving, but it's surviving. Elderberries starting to ripen already. We're going to have tons of them this year. Now look at that. Yep. I was kind of hoping for some rain, but don't think so. Sure could have used some. But I'm not doing a huge video today. I just saw those uh, that squash plant and I wanted to brag on Elliot's little squash plant. I think he's going to get a kick out of that when he comes back. At least I hope he is. Our comfrey is uh, coming up really well all the way down. So we'll have plenty of comfrey out here. Starting to get some flowers on these uh, Kushal squash. I'm about starting to vine out. I want them to take over this whole area. Look really good. I got to get some runners for those tomatoes. Get them trellised up, caged up. It's an interesting looking plant. I have to take me a picture and figure out what that is. Huh, kind of neat. Potatoes are doing so-so. I'm not super impressed with the growth on these plants, but hopefully it's underground what counts. We'll see what's happening. They're starting to fall over. The grass is starting to grow in here. I really need to weed between the rows. And they really want to flower. They're still pushing really hard for that. 
but this is a happy little garden. I'm excited for all the growth we've got in it. It's doing really well. So everything's really looking pretty good. I'm blessed, can't complain. Figured I'd add this to the end of that video clip. We migrated the couple chicks we had in the sunroom. Actually got the turkey right there. He's just chilling. And the two other babies are over there with Lumpy and her babies. I'm just sitting here observing, making sure nobody's attacking nobody. And they're getting along, which looks like they are. And old uh, Patches has come up to pester me. And then we got a little black and white one. It's one of the twins of Zoe's. She's actually being really slick and intelligent in here. There's a squirrel up in the tree eating pine cones, little green ones. And he drops the green pieces of the pine cone and she's just going to town eating them. Ain't bothering her one bit. Just as happy as can be. The little Patches here, even though she ain't been bottle fed in a long time, since she was two weeks old, she's still a finger chewer. Huh? Ain't you, girl? Yeah, little Patches is sweet. So it's been a little while since I gave you some goat TV. And I know they're not running around playing because they're just nosy as the day is long right now. I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing. But I figured I'd give you a little patches, a little goofy smile. Huh, girl? Oh, girl. She's still doing great. Here soon she'll be heading to her new farm. We'll see how that goes. Like I said, she, she just wants to chew on fingers. Huh, what are you doing? What are you doing, silly? Like I said, I know I'm not really producing any major video stuff today because of the, the holiday weekend. We're just trying to relax. Been a long weekend. Like I told you before, we babysit and uh, didn't get much sleep last night, so tired. But we're back at it. I still needed to move these guys. They done got where they fly out of the brooder. And since I already had a family of chickens in here, I figured I'd see if uh, they'd integrate. I'm pretty sure they will. The only one that kind of worries me is a little turkey. There ain't no telling what's going to happen with that one. I think he's just scared and chilling from the uh, move. The chickens immediately took to each other. Hey, little one. What we doing? Huh? Uh, what we doing? Yeah. Turkey was the hardest one to catch running around the sunroom. But all in all, he's healthy. He just don't know what to think of all this new chaos because his entire life's been in the sunroom. I hope it's a her, but probably a him. The way our luck goes with turkeys. There he goes. He's up, looking around. Hopefully he'll integrate it in there with him. Not too much confusion. Nobody's jumping on him. So that's good. Good job, Lumpy. You take care of all these babies. You do good, girl. So we've got a broody hen sitting on some eggs right there. And inside the coop here, we've got a goose. And a couple ducks sitting on some eggs. Yeah, we can't get the one in the picture. That looks like the goose has done switch positions. I gotta go in there and check that. I'm not sure what that is. Let's go figure it out. All right, let's see. Yeah, she's moved nest. That's very disappointing with you. There was a mama duck sitting on that nest and you had eggs over there. Somebody's done been in your nest. Huh? <laughs> You're gonna defend against me. Why don't you defend against whoever's raiding your nest? Gracious, girl. That's pitiful. Huh? You know, stole somebody else's nest. Pitiful. I had to clean that up. Yes, buddy. What are you doing, Odin? Hey, Spot. First time I've ever heard you talk like that. Why are you chewing on my shirt? Yeah. Guess I need to figure out what's going on with this stuff. Reckon I'll talk with y'all later. 
hope y'all have a good one. Watto for watching.